Why did I decide to be a full-time traveler? Well, in the past 17 years, there's been a lot of epiphanies about not just travel, but what travel does is make you change your thinking in a way that never would have happened if I'd stayed in Silicon Valley and never left. Because the interesting thing that happens when you go to uh, countries in Asia, anywhere really, especially ones that have a drastically different economic approach to living than your own country, you start to see things differently. And when, uh, like for example, I'm going to France and Italy next, and once I got wind of how the French do things, I have a lot of respect for their decisions and choices and uh, how the French live their lives. Um, so I've been in the country many times, but I've never actually lived there or spent a significant amount of time there. That's just what I see, not doing tourist activities. Um, and here's the other thing, don't do tourist activities unless, you know, it's just like the first couple of days because you're not gonna learn anything about the people. Like I didn't know anything about Mexico until I stopped going to the resorts in Cabo San Lucas. So this is a person, me, that took a lot of luxury trips before I started traveling full-time luxury, like two and three week vacations. Um, and in Hawaii, in Bora Bora, very high-end kind of, you know, $500 a day. And this was 25 years ago. I don't do that now. So it'd be more like 2,500 a day at that level of luxury. And when I discovered that you could actually travel and do it much more cheaply and still have an amazing time and interact with locals was when I started volunteering because you're working with local people and they teach you everything you need to know. You make friends with them. You go to all the good places. You don't spend that much money. You're spending money on uh, the more touristy things like taxis and overpriced accommodation and um, going out to eat. I don't go out to eat that much when I travel. It's fun to try the local food, but I like to try the local food that the locals are eating, not in the fancy restaurants so much. So I don't do that as often. And it's really fun to shop for your groceries and especially in Europe. I'm very excited to go to the markets there because um, I know what everything is. Um, in Asia, uh, not so much. I don't even know what everything is there. I don't know how to cook it, but in Europe I do and I get new ideas and it's really fun um, to have my own kitchen and cook and, and live a normal life at a much less expensive rate than I would here in California. So you start to see things differently and I highly recommend it. It's not for everybody. Um, but I do do travel consultations. I can help you if you want to just go on a trip or change your whole life and move to a new country. I mean, the choice is yours. It's um, an adventurous life and it changes you in a good way. I don't, I know a lot of full-time travelers. I'm not, you know, the exception and not one of them regrets. <laughs> not, not even one. Um, cause when you compare things to experiences, experiences are always going to win. Um, so yeah, money does give you options, but I think there's such an emphasis on it in the USA that it's to the detriment of, um, experiencing life as fully as someone in Sicily will do, will live life and experience joy and family and fun and you know things that we don't have much time for here <laughs> so i've learned how to look at life in a new way and um it's it's been beneficial for me and it's an ongoing journey every time i go away and come back i'm in culture shock never <laughs> when i go to another country it's when i return to the usa that is all the times that I'm in culture shock. So I highly recommend you travel. Um, 
because your mind will be changed, your life will change. I'm not going to say how, but you'll see that other people live differently, and our way isn't the only way. Now, I do understand why people don't travel in the United States that much because there's so many places that are wonderful to go um, here. So many beautiful nature places in the western part of the country, especially, that I love. Um, but the emphasis on getting ahead and accomplishing and making money is to the detriment of a lot of other things. Um, but on the other hand, money does give you freedom. You just have to know how to... Um, not ruin your whole life with the <laughs> constant pressure of making a lot of money. So on the eve of going away soon, um, I'm excited and looking forward to it and having my mind changed again. So God bless you and I'll see you in the next video. And oh, please like and subscribe and uh, make some comments about how you'd like to change your life and I'll answer you.